Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Up and at him. Why did it take all that just to wake you up? Oh, right, right, I did. I did, in fact, drug you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably making its way at your system around about now. Probably not making it very easy for you, but I guess it explains it. What are my plans? Haven't really decided yet. No, it can, it can span from anything, really. What's the end goal? Um, See, I never really go into this having an end goal, so I don't really have one. Basically, I I make sure you're here, and then I decide from, from there. Have I decided? No, not entirely. You're asking a lot of questions right now. I'm sorry, am I going to have a defiant one? Oh, I see. I see, okay. <laughs> well, this makes it more fun for me. <laughs> Quite honestly, it makes it so much more fun for me. Because it means that it's going to take that much more to break you. Yeah. <laughs> and it is... I guess you could say my real end goal is to break you. And so it makes it all the more fun for me. I, like, sometimes I can do one thing and they're already done. And I think with you, my dear, it's going to take quite a lot more. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, hey, do you think I haven't had these questions before? Look. Your loved ones don't matter, okay? Rest assured, I will make sure that there is no concern there. Hey, theorize about that as much as you want. Figure out what I might exactly have in store for them. You know, let your mind go wild, baby girl. But don't you worry, they're not gonna worry. They're not going to tell anyone you're missing. They're not even going to care that you are. So rest assured. And anyone else, I have made sure that they're taken care of. Your job isn't going to be worrying about where you are, why you're not coming in for shifts. I've already made sure of that. No, I basically put in a word that you have quit. Yeah. And so no further questions on that. Yeah. And... Uh, you were single, so no concern there. And also, you weren't from the area, so no one around here is worried. Okay, and if anyone from where the fuck you're from is worried, well, it's going to take a while, isn't it? It's going to take a while to get back, so... At the very least, we have a little bit of leeway. Yes, ma'am. So... I don't know what you're concerned about. <laughs> but I am a gracious host, so I have brought you some breakfast. You don't want to eat? Yes, you do. 
Look, babe, if you don't eat this, you're not eating anything. So it can sit next to you, and it can start being eaten by bugs and rats, and start growing mold, and start being absolutely disgusting, and that's the only thing you'll be eating. Until that plate is empty, you're not getting another plate, alright? So, you might as well eat it. You might as well eat it while it's good and fresh. Yeah, I don't want you to starve. That's no fun, is it? No, I'm gonna make sure you're well taken care of in that regard, so that you're around longer. <laughs> it's not my plan for you to die. If it happens, I guess, whoops. <laughs> but it's not my intention. What is my intention? You're not getting it, are you? I need a toy. I need a toy to play with. And actual toys don't get it. All right, I need something physical. I need something real. And baby girl, you're as real as it gets. So, this is what I need. You're basically an enrichment tool for me. I will do with you as I please. If you get hurt during during that, so be it. If you unfortunately take your last breath, so be it. It's not my concern. <laughs> yes, I do think you're less than human. You feel that way? Well, I feel that way too about you. So. Well, you're not on the same level. You're not on the same level as someone like me. You're just not. All right, I'm, dare I say, built different. <laughs> I wouldn't allow myself to be snabbled into such a delicious trap. The fact that you actually didn't question, you didn't question anything of me, of me trying to booze you up and then giving you that last drink. You didn't question anything. You don't leave your drink unattended and you should know that. The fact that you don't kind of cements my point further. You're not like other people. And I mean that in the worst way possible. If I am so gracious as to let you leave here and let you walk out this door, let it be a fucking lesson to you on what not to do later. Because who knows, maybe someone, maybe maybe an actual monster could get a hold of you if you're so blasé about it. Oh, I'm not a monster. <laughs> Flattered you think that, but I'm not a monster. No, I've met real monsters. I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been where you've been. <laughs> Let's just say I wasn't built different at a certain point in my life. But I had to grow and I had to adapt. She was so gracious as to let me leave and this is how it is now. <laughs> the trauma does shit to your brain, baby girl. Kind of melts that shit. <laughs> you have to learn to love it or you will destroy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well. I recommend you start eating. Have I drugged it? Oh, a gasp. You would think that? Well, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Who are you to know? And as I said, desperation will lead you to this plate sooner enough, so you might as well eat it now while it's fresh. 
I even added berries to your pancakes. Berries, okay? I didn't have to do that. I could have given you gruel, all right? But I didn't, so be grateful and eat. Fine. You don't want to eat it? Okay. Well, kitchen is closed. Nothing else for you until that plate is clear. And you can't hide it. You're kind of um, in a situation where you can't really move. So, think about it. <laughs> Why not eat it when it's so beautiful and fresh? Why wait? There is syrup, there is butter, like there is the box. The creatures down here, they're going to be drawn to this. All right. So would you rather eat it now or eat it later? That's what I thought. So here you go. Tastes good? I'm glad. I've already eaten, thank you. <laughs> that was smart of you. <laughs> Ask me if I wanted any. What and if I and if I had eaten some, you would believe that it wasn't drugged. That's smart. See, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not so dumb. Maybe there's something to you. <laughs> well, I've already eaten, so you can live with that knowledge that I have not taken a bite. Am I lying? Am I telling the truth? Eh, who knows? Now, see, one of my favorite things to do with my toys is to fuck with their mind. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things to do. It just, it's, it's, it's fun, and it, it brings you one step closer to becoming broken. Once I fucked with your mind, you're way more likely to let me fuck with you physically as well. Make that what you will. <laughs> oh, and if you were to start making a big lot of sound right now, no one's gonna hear you. This isn't my first rodeo. I have made sure that no one can hear you. I won't even be able to hear you upstairs, and I live in this house, so. Yeah. Scream as loud as you want to. Make your vocal cords tear. <laughs> Cough blood. Do it all. It is not going to come to anything. It's just going to hurt you. And honestly, if I am being honest, I would rather be the one hurting you. You can't take all the fun from me. Oh, look at that. You've eaten it all up. Good girl. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Syrup is nice. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be taking this plate out though. Yeah, because uh, this has basically become a nice sugar dish. So there will be ants. <laughs> and you know what? I think I might leave it right there. You can't move to get away from them. And say if anything more than ants were to show up, <laughs> again, you are defenseless. I think that, I think that is good enough. No, I didn't drug it. I didn't put anything in it. That wasn't my intention. Rest assured. No, I think the ants crawling all over you is going to be punishment enough. Hm. 
Are you not allergic? <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I... I have unfinished business to attend to. No, I need to make sure, I need to be absolutely certain that no one is going to be coming to find you. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? Maybe you're right. So what do you think I'm going to do? Well, think for a second. To go after your family, I would need to travel to them. Do you think I have the means? How long do you think it's going to take? Do you think I would leave you that long here? You're correct. Yes, it would take, it could take a few days at least. Maybe a week. Maybe even longer than that. And what of that? Mm-hmm. Who knows, maybe you might need to start eating the ants. <laughs> I bet they, I bet they taste fruity. <laughs> Yeah, I would be willing to leave you here that long, just to go after them. They won't be looking for you, baby girl. That's just one step closer to me having you at my complete disposal. Without having to worry about any other of these distractions. Like, that's what it is. It's distractions. Distractions from the real... Just say main course. <laughs> oh god, it makes me want to kiss that mouth. <laughs> when you curse me out like that, it just makes me want to. <sighs> Let's just say silence here. But I don't. I don't do that to pretty girls without their consent. That's one of the only things that I will ask for consent for. Again, make of that what you will. What you're thinking of probably has nothing to do with it. No, chivalry isn't dead. I don't need consent to bring you down here, but I do need consent to touch your body, so. Or at least in a sexual way. <laughs> Any other way? It's kind of on the table, isn't it? Well, good seeing you up and about. And I'll see you when I see you. And if you're still alive by the time I get back, God help you. You better hope you die before I get back. I love you. <laughs>